When the road ahead is a sheet of ice, rock salt can make the problem melt away. Salt lowers the melting point of water to thaw ice and also prevents its formation. Salt was first used to de-ice highways and walkways in the 1930s, but it was only in the 1960s that its use spread. Unprocessed rock salt actually looks like the ice it will eventually be used to melt. This salt comes from huge crystalline caverns 300 meters below the Earth's surface along the Canada-US border. That's a third of a kilometer underground. These massive deposits were formed hundreds of millions of years ago when saltwater lakes dried up. The clarity of this rock salt is a sign of its purity. This mineral is 98% sodium chloride, or salt. They extract it in chunks from the rock face by using explosives and drilling. Then a loader scoops up the broken pieces of salt. This is called a low-profile loader. It has a shorter height to fit into tight spaces underground. It transfers the salt to the primary crusher. This crusher is a spiked cylinder that spins to break the salt into pieces small enough to be moved on a conveyor. The conveyor takes the salt to a production elevator known as a skip. It takes just a minute and a half for the skip to lift its heavy load above ground and up a tower. When it stops, the bottom opens to empty the salty cargo. The salt funnels into two chutes and lands on vibrating screens. These screens are essentially big automated salt shakers. As they pulsate, they shake out the smaller bits, while larger chunks move on to be crushed again. Then it's on to more shaking sifters. These screen out the very fine particles, and what's left will be used as de-icing salt. There are several sifters in this room. They also sift out particles that are about 10 millimeters in size to be used as water softening product. And for this purpose, the darker bits are seen as undesirable. So they remove those with something called an optical sorter. The optical sorter bounces light off the salt particles and a computer reads the reflection to determine if they're light or dark. Jets of compressed air then target the dark bits and blast them downward while the white particles continue forward. A closer look confirms that the optical sorter has done its job effectively. The salt meant for water softening is pure white, while a few darker speckles is acceptable for road salt. Outside in the holding area, the salt accumulates in piles that look like huge snowdrifts. If the winter is harsh, road crews will use it as fast as it piles up. When it comes to bulk purchasing, orders don't come much bigger than this. Highway maintenance departments buy de-icing salt by the truckload and create their own stockpiles to be prepared for stormy weather. But individual consumers, of course, buy de-icing salt by the bag. In the packaging department, automated trays relay plastic bags to grippers overhead and the system moves them forward. Suctioning robot arms pry each bag open. A puff of air further inflates the bag, while a nozzle pipes measured amounts of the de-icing salt into the bag. Once the bag is full, the system moves it forward again, and not a grain of salt is spilled. Finally, a heat sealer melts the plastic to close the package. It's taken about an hour for this rock salt to be mined, crushed, sifted and packaged. And now they're ready to take it to the street.